Nahum, chapter 3. Woe to the city of blood! She is all full with lies and burglary. Prey does not depart. The sound of a whip, and the sound of the rattling of a wheel, and of a prancing horse, and of a bounding chariot, of a horseman mounting, and the flame of a sword, and the lightning of a spear, and the abundance of the wounded, and the weight of the carcasses. Indeed, there is no end to the bodies. They stumble over their bodies. Because of the abundance of the fornications of a harlot, the goodness of the grace of the lady of witchcrafts, who is selling nations by her fornications and families by her witchcrafts, behold, I am against you, a declaration of Yahweh of hosts, and have removed your skirts from before your face, and have shown nations your nakedness and kingdoms your shame. And I have cast on you abominations, and dishonored you, and made you as a sight. And it has come to pass, each of your beholders flees from you, and has said, Nineveh is spoiled. Who bemoans for her? From where do I seek comforters for you? Are you better than no Ammon, that is dwelling among brooks? Water she has around her, whose bulwark is the sea, waters her wall. Cush her might? And Egypt, there is no end. Put and Lubim have been for your help. Even she becomes an exile. She has gone into captivity. Even her sucklings are dashed into pieces at the top of all out places. And for her honored ones, they cast a lot. And all her great ones have been bound in chains. Even you are drunken. You are hidden. Even you seek a strong place because of an enemy. All your fortresses are fig trees with first fruits. If they are shaken, they have fallen into the mouth of the eater. Behold, your people are women in your midst. To your enemies, thoroughly opened, have been the gates of your land. Fire has consumed your bars. Waters of a siege, draw for yourself, strengthen your fortresses, enter into mire, and tread on clay. Make a strong brick kiln. There a fire consumes you. A sword cuts you off. It consumes you as a canker worm. Make yourself heavy as the canker worm. Make yourself heavy as the locust. Multiply your merchants above the stars of the heavens. The canker worm has stripped off and flees away. Your crowned ones are as a locust, and your prince as great grasshoppers that encamp in hedges in a day of cold. The sun has risen, and it flees away, and its place, where they are not, is known. Your friends have slumbered, king of Ashur, your majestic ones rest. Your people have been scattered on the mountains, and there is none gathering. There is no weakening of your destruction, your striking is grievous. All hearing your fame have clapped the hands at you. For over whom did your wickedness not pass continually?